Hello everyone, welcome to AJ Programming Solutions. So in today's video, we are going to see some of the frequently asked interview questions on a Java 8 feature, which is Stream API. So in the interview, mostly the interviewers are asking the Java 8 interview questions. Okay, and the Stream API is very important topic. So today let's just cover some of the mostly asked interview questions related to the Stream API. Okay. So now what I did, I created one employee class, okay, and inside this employee class, I have the employee ID, employee name, department, gender, salary, and age. These are the fields which I have in my employee class, okay. Then what I did, I just created one parameterized constructor. See here, this is my parameterized constructor. And then I have created all the getter and setter for each field. Okay. And after that, this is my two string. Okay. So these are the things I have done in my employee class. Very basic things like I just created employee class. I have some fields and for this fields, I have the setter and getter and two string method and the parameterized constructor. Okay. So this is my employee class. Now, I have created one more main class which is having the main method. See here this stream API example. So this is my main class and in this class we will be uh, writing the examples for the stream API. Okay. So see here very first what I did I just created some employees so that we can uh, create the examples. Okay. So I just created uh, almost 10 employees if you see here. I have the team employees. I just created one list of employees and in this list of employees, I have added these many employees. Okay, so this is the data I have in my list. Now, if I print this list, let's suppose here, I will just print the list. How we can print the list? Employee list dot for each employee E, just print the E. Okay, so this way we can print the employee details. Now let me just save and execute the code. Now in the output what we will get, we will get all the employee data. See here, I am getting all the employees. Okay, now we want to understand some of the interview questions. Okay, so let me just open the presentation. Okay, so now very first question what we will take. Uh, this one okay so very first question we will take the question is print the employees which is having highest salary okay so this question is very famous mostly in the interview this question will be there okay so what is the question question will be like print the employees which are having highest salary okay so now if i go to the intellij and see here let me just close this we have 10 employees okay and for this employee i have these salaries see here 25000 5000 then 15 35 45 okay so here the highest salary is this 98000 okay so now we need to print the employee which is having highest salary okay so here if you see the highest salary employee is sia which is having the id 10 and the salary is 98,000. Okay, so now let's understand how we can print the highest salary employee. Okay, so now let me just uh, delete this. We don't require this now. Now what we can do here, see, for each and every question, we need to use the stream API. Okay, so now let's understand how we can print the employee which is having highest salary. Okay, so here what I can do, I can just use this employee list dot stream. I can get here a stream out of this list. Okay. Now once I got the stream, then what I need to do? I need to find out the highest salary employee. So what I can do? First, I will just sort this employee based on the salary. Okay. So how we can sort the employees based on the salary? For that, we have one method which is this one. Uh, sorted method okay now in this sorted method we will pass the comparator okay so here i will be just i will be just writing comparator dot 
comparing and what i want to compare i want to compare the employee salary okay here the comparison is done okay we have compare we are comparing the employees based on the salary but now what we want we want the highest employee so what i can do here i can just do in the reversed order right so here if you are comparing the employee it will get compared in the ascending order but now i want in the descending so that i can get the highest um, uh, highest salary employee right so here i will just use reversed method and after that if you just do here dot you will see here you have one method which is find first okay so if you are comparing the employees based on the salary and then you are doing reversed then what will happen at very first you will get the employee which is having highest salary and here the highest salary employee is this sia okay so here we will get this employee now as this is in a first position i will just use find first method okay and then i will just use get method because this find first is returning us the optional if you see here find first is returning us the optional right but i want that particular employee so i will be using dot get method okay now here we will get that employee so let me just assign a variable here introduce a local variable and i will get here the employee or maybe i will just write here maybe employee okay and let me just print this employee now how i can print the employee i can just write here s out highest salary employee is okay and here i will just get this employee now if i save and execute the code i should get this employee the employee id 10 see here in the output which employee we are getting see employee whose id is 10 because this employee is having highest salary which is 98000 okay now let's suppose if i change the salary of one of the employee maybe if i do here instead of 35000 i will just do 315000 okay so now if i save and execute the code i should get this employee what is the id of the employee now 4 okay so now let me just execute it again and see now you will get this employee see here employee id 4 which is having the salary this much okay so this way we can get the highest salary employee from this employee list okay so this is very commonly asked interview question so you should just do some practice related to this stream api you should understand like what is the stream how many methods we have so in which scenario we can use which method right so here we have used this sorted method and then we have passed one comparator what this comparator is doing comparator is comparing the employees based on the salary okay and now we want the highest salary employee so we have used here the reversed method and then just we are using find first method so that we can get the first uh, first element okay and then as this find first is returning us the optional and we want that a particular employee so i have used dot get method okay and i just printed this okay so this is one of the very frequently asked interview questions so i will just stop here and in the next video we will see uh, this question this one count the number of male and female employees in the organization okay this is also a very important question so for today we will just stop here and in the next session we will see this question okay if you like this video please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you